Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's 2024, right? So that means that it's time for what's in my minimalist daily camera bag this year. So let's get started. First of all, I have to apologize. I hope I can finish this video. I've been diagnosed with the flu and oh my God, you don't want it. This is really not fun, but hopefully I can finish this video because I really want to share with you my approach in 2024 with this minimalist camera bag. And this is what I take on mostly my daily walk. Sometimes I go very, very simple. And by simple, I mean I like to go out with just one lens, and that's the that's my go-to lens. That's the 150, 400, and one camera. That's the OM one. So that's kind of my go-to setup when I go and walk, and I know I'm only gonna go and look for birds, go and look for wildlife. So this is what I take, although I do have pockets, and sometimes the 60 millimeter macro also comes with me on my daily walk but very often that's all I have with me and I've seen people who like yeah this is what I put in my camera bag this never goes in my camera bag it's gonna go in my camera bag when I have to take a flight and then yes I mean I'm not gonna show up on the plane and you know uh, carry this I'll put it in my bag and I'm going to make sure that I detach the lens and the camera because you never know, you don't want to put any pressure and damage uh, your camera and your lens if they are attached. So the way I carry it inside my bag is I detach uh, the camera and the lens. I think it's just a safety precaution. If it's in my camera bag when I travel, there is no reason for me uh, you know, to take it out and take a photo in the middle of a flight <laughs> with this lens. Not gonna happen. So this is my tip number one. And I also have this. I made a video right here if you want to rewatch it. And it basically lives on my lens right now. And that's it. That's how I go out. But sometimes I go out and I'm thinking, well, I might do a little bit more than just wildlife, I might do macro, or I might do landscape, or I might record a video in the field. So for this, I need to have a bag, but I don't need a gigantic bag. I have such horrendous bag, I can't carry much on my shoulder. So what works the best for me is having a banana bag. So basically you have a sling bag that works as a banana bag. And I've tried many things. I have videos upon videos on the different sling bag and camera bag that I've been using. But this bag right here, it's been working so well. It is not a camera bag. It is actually a bike bag and it is a sling bag it is a banana bag and it also triples as a backpack if i want to so i can untie this and then it unrolls into a bigger bag so this bag is made by Fraravan uh, and I love it because it checks all the boxes. It is really, really lightweight. It is expandable, as I told you. I can go from 4.5 liter to 11.5 liters. So this is really convenient. And it is also water resistant. Now, I would like to have a water cover, so I'm probably going to add a water cover to this. 
just out of security. My camera and my lenses are going to be fine, but I have a couple of things that I think could use a little bit of water protection. So that is my plan for the future. But it's been doing pretty well in the light rain that I had to deal with so far. It's pretty durable. I've had it for a little while, but you can see, I mean, it's holding very well. And also it's made with a PFC. So that's pretty cool. Now, what do I put in this bag? Well, first of all, I have this pocket where I put my water, maybe right now, a couple of candy for my throat. I call that candy. It's not really candy, but it's helping a little bit. And on the other side, I have a couple of things. So first of all, uh, this is uh, just a box. It's not candy. It's actually a lot of essential little things that I like to carry with me, like gaff tape or like a multi-tools. That's why it's pretty cool. I'll show you actually, I'll make a video on how I created this kit. I've been researching a lot on the internet and I think this is perfect for photographers. So I'll make sure I do that in the next video. Also, same pocket, um, something to clean my lenses. And here I have something to clean my camera. I don't have any protection on my camera because it's reading IP53. It can really take a beating, but I don't like to have my camera completely wet. So after a while, I just like to clean it. So that's what I have. This one is outside. It's something that I wash all the time. It can get dirty. I will not wash my lens with this. This is only for the body of my camera. And then inside, I actually have wipes that I use only for my lens and they're inside, they are protected. So let's open the bag. Right here, it's protected. I actually put it in a little bag. I have my flash. It's the FL700 because I really love to do macro photography and uh, there are times where I do need my flash. And so that's why I carry it with me. It fits in my bag. There's no problem. So why not having it? It's not very heavy. Then I also have the 90 millimeter macro. I could use the 60 millimeter macro, but I love the 90. It gives me so much flexibility in terms of composition. And every time I've been in the field and I had the 60, I've been missing the 90. So I guess right now this is what I'm shooting with. That's the 90 millimeter macro, just because of how much flexibility is giving me when I'm in the field. And it is a pro lens. It also deals very well in the elements. So this is my go-to now lens. Uh, but the 60 millimeter macro is extraordinary. I know that a lot of you are using this lens. It's a great lens. Sometimes I just need a little extra magnification and that's why this is the lens that I want to have with me when I'm in the field. Also, I can fit a second body, the OM5. It's been my go-to camera when I want something light and I'm going out. I love this camera, it's so small. And now this is what I film with all the time except right now because I only have one OM5 and I wanted to show you how it fits in my bag. So, but when I'm in the film, this is how I record my video with the 12 millimeter. I love it. It's also great for astrophotography. And now this is also my go-to landscape. So it's just the perfect companion for the OM1. And again, I'm able to fit it in this teeny tiny bag so it is really, really convenient. Now, a few extra things that I carry with me. Number one is a recorder, kind of a, I use that as a field recorder, the wireless mic, but I like that because I can actually use this little recorder in the field, but also if I need to record myself because I'm shooting a video for you, then this is what I have. Um, I switched between the GJI and now 
I actually carry the Samaronic. Love it. It's a great microphone because I can also show my own logo. But if I need something that can take a little bit more of a beating, because here it's glass, then uh, this is what I have right now. Both are really great mic. You can't go wrong. So this stays here on the side. But I also have to show you that inside this uh, bag, this does not come with it. It's something that I had custom made out of eBay, super cheap. It's great because it has a lot of uh, pockets and uh, even a zipper where I can add more things. And so this has been working uh, very well. It enables me to be a little bit more organized with this bag. And so I also have a battery so I can, you know, charge uh, my camera on the go if I need to and what I do is I put the charger right here It's not that heavy. So it goes inside even if this is not folded. It works pretty well And then I also have an extra SD card. I actually had an issue recently with an SD card first time it happened to me So it's good to have an extra SD card uh, just in case with you so always have that it's protected it goes right here in this little pocket so don't go out without one and then here i have a little cloth for my lens i have my wide sign nature tour and uh, now that uh, i'm joining the team officially so this is cool they have that if you go and see them during conference they might give you one love those they are really good I have a, another one that's a little smaller here. I always have two with me. And then I also have an extra battery. Never go out without an extra battery, especially in the winter. You're gonna use more battery than in the summer because it's cold. So extra battery is a must. And actually in the winter, I don't have the battery in this bag. My battery is in my pocket so I can keep it warm. So don't leave it in your bag. But in the summer, this goes inside my bag. And that's it. That's what I carry daily, mostly because sometimes I just like to go for just macro or just go for a wildlife and then I'm going to carry one lens and one body. But if I'm not sure exactly what... I will find then this is my go-to bag. I mean, you, I'm sorry, you cannot, you cannot beat it. This is so small, 4.5 liter. And that's it. I can do landscape. I can do macro photography and I can do wildlife because my big lens is always going to be out. And then if I do macro, I can just, you know, tuck it right here on the side and use that as a bell. So we are so lucky as macro for third user to be able to have those small lenses, those small camera bodies that we carry with us without having to compromise on what we want to take out in the field with us. So thank you, OM System, for making this possible. We really appreciate it. And I can tell you, I don't see many people using this teeny tiny bag when I'm in the field. And they're like, what? And so it's kind of fun to tell them, yeah, this is, those are all the gear that I need right now. Now, there are a couple of other things I might want to carry with me. The first thing is Alana from Free Legged Thing. I love this monopod. And uh, I also added the feet that you can actually clip and then it makes it very easy to carry with you. And I can actually put it on top of my bag and use those straps to hold it. It works pretty well. I've done it a couple of times. So if I'm out shooting, then I know that I might want that. Also, if I'm out with um, my telephoto lens, I also might want to use it if I know I'm going to spend a lot of time on a subject and I might not want to just hold my camera for hours and hours. So then this will help me a lot. So I've been really enjoying um, carrying this monopod and having those extra feet for balance. I can just set it up on the ground and then, you know, stay around. It's a big lens 
on a monopod so they they warn you that you just can't abandon your big lens on a monopod because it can topple but it's been very stable and uh, I had no issue I'm just you know just staying around and letting the monopod hold my lens when needs be and it's been working pretty well also on top of my bag I carry my AK diffuser because if I want to do macro and I have a flash and I don't have a diffuser it's not gonna work out so this is easy I actually could carry it in a bag it's really light but no I don't even bother doing anything with it I just uh, attach it on the side there are many places where I can tie it to and it works very well and then I can take it off when I need to do some macro photography. And also, if I know I'm gonna use a tripod or a monopod when I'm doing landscape, I'm gonna get an L bracket from Three-Legged Thing. This one is made specially for the OM5. I love it, I made a video, I'm gonna post it right here if you're interested in it. It's a great L bracket. It doesn't restrict your access to your battery and it's quite flexible, it gives you a lot of options, so I'm going to put it below. I also like to carry a blower. I don't carry it every day because very often I'm not going to change lenses, so I will not uh, need that. But this is just easy to carry and I could actually put it uh, in the expandable part of my bag. And this is also for macro. I have a syringe and I have some uh, clips and I have a little bottle with water that I carry with me if I know that I might wanna do some water drop and there is no water right now, so I need to add some. So that also can go in my camera bag, again, in the expandable part of the backpack without having to expand it completely, uh, it fits. So this is also another addition I have. So that's it. That's what I carry in my minimalist bag in 2024. I really like the approach of thinking minimalistic because then when I'm in the field, I just know this is the lens I have and this is what I can do and I'm gonna make it work. Instead of having to think, oh, okay, I have all those different lenses and which one am I gonna pick? And for me, it works very well. That doesn't mean I have a lot of other lenses. I do, but that means that I will use them a little less often and with more of a purpose. And then if I need to go out with the fish eye, or if I'm using the 12 to 100, which is also a great lens that I do use a lot for landscape, and that does make it into my daily camera bag. But if I need to have a bigger bag and bring more things then uh, this has been a great bag like the Bravity they actually send it to me to try it I love that you have access to a lot of pockets a lot of compartment and it's flexible so this has been a bag that comes with me and stays in the car it's not waterproof you can buy a cover I still need to do that I haven't done it and that's one of the negative, like I wish this would be completely waterproof, then that would be easier instead of having to add a cover. But a great bag, um, so I recommend it if you're looking at something a little bit bigger, or if you're not a macro for third user and you have bigger gear, then this might you know, fit the build for you. If you're a nature photographer, I don't know if I would recommend that because it's not waterproof. So I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments, what is your setup for 2024? What have you changed? What have you added? Um, are you going into a minimalistic approach or are you doing the opposite? Are you packing up gear in a bag? I'm always interested to know. I think it would be a great subject of discussion. And uh, I wanna thank you again for all your support. If you are not a subscriber, well, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And I will see you next week. Until then, happy shooting. Au revoir.